frame design alone wasn't enough to get the low stance Honda was looking for. The factory had to roll the engine forward a total of 62 degrees to create the necessary vertical clearance. This water-cooled, 670cc, parallel twin engine uses a single overhead cam to time the four valve heads, and runs in an undersquare configuration with a 73mm bore and 80mm stroke. Compression ratio puts you in the mid-grade fuel category, at least, at 10.7 to 1. As with the suspension, the engine management is fixed and non-adjustable. Honda's digital ignition and PGM fin manages spark and induction, and contribute to the great mileage. To be fair, bikes in this price bracket usually don't have much in the way of engine wizardry, and I'm always a proponent for keeping things as simple as possible. Power output seems relatively modest with 48 ponies at 6,100 revolutions per minute, but in practice you can expect to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in something around 5 seconds, plenty for using acceleration to evade a situation in traffic, and enough for some cheap thrills when you want to get twisty with it. After all, at the end of the day, this is a cruiser, so fast quarter miles aren't really a priority.